And is there a story that along the lines of meeting your wife and starting to date that you used a helicopter to? It's correct. It's correct. Oh, you got to tell us. We love helicopters. We got it. We're yeah. big helicopter guys. <laughs> <laughs> look, I don't, I don't, look, I don't trust we helicopters. We don't care about the love story. I just, <laughs> but from, from a, it's, it's more like an episode of The Bachelor uh, than your adventure coptering. But <laughs> it was, you know, essentially I, we were just, we had just gone to text and, um, you know, because uh, graduated from the DMs, graduated from got the, the DMs, number. got nice. the number. I well was done. like, you know, she had had this interview and talking about wanting to pet a tiger and uh, oh. swim with sharks. And I'm like, well, I, this is great. I could be a great life coach. I've been attacked by both. <laughs> and so, you know, and along the way, like then it's like she posts, um, you know, we're, we're texting back and forth. And uh, she posts this thing about her parents being in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, her mom being in Dayton, Ohio, and I'm like, oh, is your is your what do you what do you got what connection do you have from Dayton, Ohio? It's like, oh, my mother and brother live there, and um, that's where my mom's from, right? So I'm like, oh, this is crazy. Like, all right, this is already my destiny here. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm like convinced. Haven't even look. Haven't even spoke on the phone. I'm like, this is my wife. Wow. I haven't even like this is this is straight off of photos and like. Two text, a D, two DMs, and like two text messages. This is who oh, I so meant you to had to matter. Mind. You just DM. Yeah, this is like Ooh. I mean nothing, and so slid in the DMs. That's it. And then like for me to be so convinced, and I'm like connected to Dayton. This is my wife. So I, I've always had this like weird. Um, oh, well, let me jump back. So so it's like first date. Do you want to go out? Uh, sure, what do you want to do? I looked on her uh, Twitter and she was like talking about this uh, dog kennel. There was a dog kennel that was going to, they had to get rid of all the dogs or else they were going to be euthanized. And so, you know, it was a few hours away and I thought it was like an hour away. So I was going to suggest to her for a first date that we go save some puppies. And so- This guy, smooth. man. You know this what guy. I mean? And so- um, <laughs> Like, but I realized it was like two and a half hours away. So as a joke, I'm like, what do you say we get a helicopter and go rescue some puppies? And like a half hour later, she's like, sure. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so sure. now I'm like, what? So I'm so like, staring at the I'm, phone, like waiting. No, I'm like, somebody, can somebody get us a, hel I got to get a <laughs> helicopter. And, and believe it or not, my first date was probably like, you know, a hundred yards from here, like right across at the, the Van Nuys airport here. And... And so I um, picked her up. It was a straight episode of Catfish, right? We never spoke on the phone. <laughs> no never, way. like, you know, she lived in, like, the hood, you know, because she moved from a small town in Northern California and moved, like, got a cheap apartment, had no idea where she was. Rob Deerdeck pulls up in a Ferrari, you know what I'm saying, for date one, like, full Catfish style, 458 Ooh, Italia. Nice, red. You know, no, white and black. White and black, oh, of uh, course, but, classic. But, you know, it's it's not an episode of Catfish. She's real, I'm real. We're, we're moving along, and then in this particular um situation time in my life you know i was convinced i was meant to marry somebody that was connected to hawaii and so i as the drive over there i'm like um like don't even ask her about hawaii her mom lives in dayton ohio like you guys are meant to be like who cares about hawaii <laughs> and so as soon as she gets in that ferrari i'm like hey how you doing do you have any connection to hawaii <laughs> and so she's like well my my grandparents lived there and my, my sister lives there now. And I'm like, well, all right, we, we should get That'll married. That'll work. That'll we work. should get married. And so as we took the helicopter ride. Do you remember uh, the type of helicopter? Oh, man, I, I, I don't. But, but, but it was a bigger, more four, safe four one. Four seats in the back? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, but it, it like it, because on our third year anniversary, I rented another helicopter to go to Catalina, yeah. our third year wedding anniversary. And that thing was sketchy. That was one of those just, you barely fit in there. How many seats total are we talking? It, two and a half. You know what I mean? Like even the pilot was Plus like, barely. two blades? I don't even know if there was two blades. <laughs> There's just one blade. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 listen, like, babe, like, I already booked it. Yeah. You know, it's here. We'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, that's really what it was. And then on that flight, she then told me a story midway on, you know, flying over the, the Central Valley to go rescue these puppies. She then told the story 
that she was diagnosed with a, a rare blood disease at 10 and given six months to live and that uh, Make-A-Wish granted her wish and her final wish was to swim with dolphins. So they flew her to Hawaii where she swam with dolphins oh and was like on some God. like, I'm not going to let myself die. I'm going to beat this. And then they had like a a special uh, new treatment that they tried on her and it put her into remission and worked. Wow. But then I'm like, okay, this is my wife. That's the Hawaii. This this is my wife. Yeah. Wow. And, 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 you know, for me, it's like, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful story, but it's also like, you know, her sort of commitment to personal development and, and evolving herself. I, I was just, I work really hard and I'm successful. I don't, what do I need to work on me for type of thing? And that, that, that sort of like call it forever love that now got me to see what forever felt like rather than what was next on top of like this sort of like, you know, developing yourself and growing uh, was this culmination that really, really started the evolution of changing um, who I am as a person and ultimately becoming the person that I am today. And, and also why, you know, it's unwavering my first line commitment to the quality of our relationship and our life over everything because like she gave me this life that I have and this ability to become, realize my entire potential it is also why there's no aspect of me that ever wavers on the continual optimization of our love and our family first sort of position of, of where the family sits in my way of being, you know. It's beautiful. 